Warhammer is popping up everywhere, and guess what? I like it. Hello everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Darren, and for today's video, we're headed to the world of Warhammer 40k. That's right, another new Warhammer game is currently in development, and of course, that makes me excited. Now, last week, the game studio Slytherin dropped on us a new RTS from the Starship Troopers movie franchise, and today they have another game drop for us. This is Warhammer 40k Battle Sector, and this is a turn-based strategy game. Now, today we have the reveal trailer, and we have some streamed gameplay that I will break down for you. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right! Let's jump right into this. Right now I'm on the website PC Games N. Title this article, New Warhammer 40k Strategy Game Battle Sector Announced Due This Year. Now when it says due this year, they're actually shooting for May, and there will be a beta that you could sign up for prior to the May actual release of this game. It will also be coming to PC first, which is all we care about, but also it will be coming to console later on. Okay, let's read and then we'll play a few videos. It's not a new space game involving fleets and fighters. However, Black Lab is instead turning to its, turning its attention to the land-based warfare, offering a new turn-based strategy game set during the ninth edition timeline, which means primarius units that will pit space marines of the Blood Angels chapter against the parasitic hordes of the Tyranids. Now, if you don't know anything about Warhammer, that is like Terran versus Zerg. If you don't know anything about StarCraft, that means it is human versus bug. Now that I'm thinking out loud, I was talking about how last week I covered another game that they're making, which is the RTS Starship Troopers game, which is also humans versus bugs. Hmm. Interesting correlation. If you ever played a previous Slytherin, Slytherin published title, Warhammer 40k Sanctus Reach, it's looking like this might be a similar game, but with more resources and made by a veteran design studio. The solo campaign, which sees the Blood Angels trying to defend their home planet of Vale from Hive Fleet Leviathan, will allow you to manage a persistent battle force that will involve and improve over time. Whew! A lot of tongue twisters. Provided they survive. You'll also be able to field one of the several unique heroes which each have unique Command HQ unlockable abilities that will make your force even more potent. An example of a Command level ability is a Tactical Air Support. Whenever I think of this, I really go old school to like Warcraft 3, where you have your heroes, you can level up your heroes, and a lot of times you'll focus on them over your troops because they are so powerful, right? Especially in battle, you want to target the heroes. Now what I'm going to do for you is play the reveal trailer, and then we're going to talk a little bit about multiplayer, which is awesome. Enjoy. So obviously that's just a reveal trailer, no gameplay, but don't worry, that's coming. For a nice little stop motion cinematic, I think it looks pretty good and kind of builds some buzz. So what else is going on? Space Marines are all well and good, of course they are, but what about the rest of the 40k pantheon of races? Well, there's some promising news on that front. While not only the Space Marines, while only the Space Marines are getting a solo campaign, you can play as the Tyranids in skirmish and online multiplayer. And I'm going to talk to you about online in a second. 
and there are already strong hints at the future factions plus units, heroes, and more being included through future DLC expansions. Now, that is basically, I shouldn't say 100%, they have already said that if this game is profitable, they will continue to add races to it and build upon the game. But like anything else, if it's not making money, they're not going to do it. So as long as this game does what we think it's going to do, you will see more races down the line. Now, let's talk about multiplayer. And it's not in this article. Really, really cool. Now, the way this works is let's say you're playing 1v1. Right now, you can only play 1v1 when this game drops. And you're playing with you and a friend, so somebody you know. You can actually play, this is a turn-based strategy game, right? It's a game of chess, and those games take a really long time. So you can be like, okay, it's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 a.m., let's take a break, we'll pick up on this at 11 a.m. in the morning. Done. You can pause your online multiplayer game and pick up on it at another time. Really, really cool. On top of that is, let's say you're playing an online game against somebody that's random, and that person disconnects, they're losing, they're like, the hell with this, and they get out of here. The AI will take over their faction, and this isn't nothing new, but it'll take over that faction, so you could still continue to finish the game and get your win. Very, very cool part of the game, but I really like the multiplayer where you can start a game late at night knowing that you're not going to finish it, but you can finish it later on. Neat little feature that they added. There's a lot of promise for Battle Sector. Beyond modes and factions, the depth of the game system detailed in the press release look like it should tick all the right boxes. With customizable unit layouts, detailed stats and abilities, cover mechanics, overwatch, dedicated melee, zones of control, and even something called the momentum system. Okay, and obviously we just got a couple screenshots of what the visuals look like, but don't worry, you're going to get to see some gameplay. Okay, now what I'm going to do for you is they had a stream today through Twitch where one of the devs took through took them took the pl people watching through different parts of the game and even played the game. Of course, I have taken that and added it for this video. So enjoy the first look gameplay at Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. Ready to strike. So, so our, our friendly uh, Primaris guys find themselves in a bit of trouble defending a chapel here. Um, with uh, Tyrannies closing in from all sides. Um, so it's not just the Tyrannies you see in front of you, but they tend to keep turning up from out of your all-spec scan range. Now you can see there he's kind of trying to plan his best move. He's got he's got a one shield attack on those units, or he could try and move through. But if he moves through, he gets an open attack opportunity. So instead he changes his mind, instead of taking a shield attack, Put on Overwatch, so that when those guys come through, we'll take a shot at them. Um, the other thing with Overwatch is if you, again, there's a kind of a threshold system of lots of places in the game where if you hit someone really, really hard, there's a good chance you'll interrupt them or stun them. Um, so if they come into Overwatch and they get hit really hard, there's a good chance you'll basically strip them off their movement points and action points and really stop their charges in, in its track. And so we're here, Carleon is basically going, going there and give these guys a bit of a lesson and introduce himself to the uh, campaign. So here, these Mongols try and run away, they don't do a particularly good job of it, and they get suppressed because they took a, a, beyond the threshold of damage, so actually they lose their turn. And here they didn't, so they're going to come in there and do a bit of chopping. It was an attack, so the Space Marines get a little swing back with their bolt rifles. They're not specialist melee guys, these are the ranged guys, but so it's not much damage, but it's good. And they're the wonderful strength of the aggressors of, okay, you'll do a bit of damage to them, but they'll do more back. Battle line squad ready. Except the other thing you kind of might see on the dots on the ground is kind of uh, there's the white dots where you can move to and there's the red dots around the outside. Um, all of the units kind of have a an option to trade an AP for a bit more running time. So if maybe you need to get somewhere really fast, um, you can basically sacrifice, you lose your action point and get an extra movement point just to push yourself either into range or out of range or more towards a um, attack opportunity for next turn. 
Screech. Last but not least, let's check out the official Steam page for Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. Listen to the description. In the grim darkness of the future, there is only war. Experience every bone-rattling explosion and soul-crushing charge in Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. The definitive battle scale game for turn-based strategy and fast-paced combat that takes you to the battlefields of the 41st millennium. <sighs> Woohoo! Okay, I will link this in the description below, of course, in case you wanted to wishlist it right here. Now, obviously, anytime we get a Steam page, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to check the system requirements for the game. And when you're looking at Battle Sector, it is nothing that five, even maybe eight-year-old PC can't play. i5-6400, 8 gigs of RAM, GeForce GTX 950, and 10 gigs of space. So system requirements, nothing that any PC should have a problem with playing, especially if it's new. All right, everybody, that's the video. I am very curious. Any turn-based strategists out there that are excited to get their hands on a new Warhammer property, let me know in the comment section below. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We are three members away from 600. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. Thank you all for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron out. Mm -hmm.